What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight. New Game Plus. Last time, we defeated the mid-tier of enemies. Plague Knight, Mole Knight, and Treasure Knight. And today, we are going to begin the third tier of enemies. Once we deal with Floaty Whip Guy. An endeavor which is going surprisingly... Well, it was going well. The thing about this guy is he does a ton of damage. And he can be pretty unpredictable, so it's pretty easy for the damage to rack up really quickly. I don't care about the money, but I like making this guy... I like extracting the tiny blue gems from his tear ducts. I assume that's what's happening anyways. This guy is going to be in my way, so I guess I might as well just deal with him. Come on, get... I thought I had a decent idea of how to do this stage, because I end up getting trapped by it frequently enough, but... Apparently, the little flame slime things at the beginning control you hardcore. So I would do the Hall of Champions, except that it's pretty much identical on New Game Plus. It, not, not enough really changes between New Game and New Game Plus to really justify it in my mind. Pretty much the only difference is the ghosts do extra damage to you. Everything else is literally the same, so like... Yeah. So as you can see, you can cycle this guy with the propeller dagger. You can do it like the other uh, Black Knight encounter too, where you just shovel him in the corner. That kind of demonstrated a little bit, except really poorly because he wasn't actually in the corner. But, yeah. Propeller Dagger, pretty good against the Black Knight. And I guess I don't really have any actual reason to do Propeller Knight stage before Tinker and Polar Knight on New Game Plus, but I'm going to do it anyways, just out of habit. So, like I was saying last time, the interesting thing about New Game Plus is just the way the difficulties work out, because normally on New Game, Propeller Knight stage is arguably the hardest one in the game, just because it's based almost entirely around killing you in one shot with pitfalls and spikes and stuff. But New Game Plus doesn't really do a whole lot to increase how dangerous those things are. There's fewer checkpoints, but in truth, that doesn't do a whole lot. Not as, not as much... But that's actually not true. I'm... Forget I said that. The increase to how damaging actual damage... Like, how difficult, how threatening actual damage sources is a lot more threatening. And it also benefits from having fewer checkpoints, so like... Yeah. I probably explained this like three times already, so I should probably just not do that anymore. Hopefully you get what I'm saying by now. But the point is, compared to New Game, Propeller Knight stage is surprisingly not that difficult. Like, it's not that much harder. That was a pretty quick kill. checkpoint there. Thankfully I don't need to go into the little side room because I already have the propeller dagger. Yeah, 
There is a checkpoint here, though. That's honestly not the best place for it. Because I, I would have preferred that checkpoint be placed a little bit closer to where the spike screens are, but... I guess we'll just have to do what we can. I don't have any reason to collect those gems, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Over here. Luckily, there's no rush on the screen because it's an auto-scroller, so... We have all the time in the world to just wait for that propeller dude to come to us. This is silly. There we go. That's not hard stuff, people. I used to hate that screen a lot, but I find it's not too bad now. But I kind of got a hang for it. Practice solves everything. No! I always screw that screen up now. That's almost how I want to do it. There we go. That's what I want to do. Okay. I'm just gonna... Okay, well, I was gonna say I'm just gonna take the screen slow, but then I did something absurd like the, that little propeller dagger trick that I've never tried or seen anyone do before, so I guess I'm just lying already. I swear this screen is the bane of my existence. Okay, that went decently well. I'm honestly, like, I'm not even sure why I said decently, because it went as well as it could have, basically. As long as I get through it without dying, I'm pretty much happy. I wonder... I think there's supposed to be a faster way to kill this guy on New Game Plus, but I don't know off the top of my head. Wow, he decided to go up here really quickly. Nice. And I got the pitfall! Although I didn't pogo into it, I just kind of walked into the pit, so I guess that's something. How many times did I die in the stage? Was it... Did I die at all? I must have died at least once. I know I fell a couple times, but I don't think it led to any death. Okay, so I'm just gonna kill this guy. This guy can be surprisingly hard, even on no a new game, like, a lot of his attacks do a lot of damage, so it can ramp up pretty quickly. But, I kind of got a feel for how he works a little bit now. He's not really the type that's good to use charge attacks on so much, it's more like, bounce on his head once, hit him on the opposite side. Wow, uh, that's the wrong button. That's always the right time to use charge attacks when you've got the phase lock it on. So yeah, that went bad pretty quickly, but phase lock it saves the day once again. Phase Locket is the MVP of New Game Plus, apparently. But only on the Knights of No Quarter. On the actual... Or not the Knights of No Quarter, that's what these guys are. But the, the like, other dudes, the ones that aren't the Knights of No Quarter. The Phase lock is MVP on those guys. Speaking of which... I should probably fight Mr. Hat. I 
think I've ever actually died on Mr. Hat. I don't- I wonder what it looks like. Pretty expedient kill. I have all the gold. I don't think I've had this much since I went for the achievement to get hold uh, 50,000 gold at once. Okay, so actually. Let's return these scrolls to the bard, just because I've been holding on to these nine music scrolls for like forever. Bravissimo! Just to say I actually turned those in. Now, I probably don't have time for both of the remaining stages, but I think I'm gonna go for Tinker. I think Tinker is probably the... I think Polar Knight Sage might be a little shorter... Or maybe they're about the same length, but Tinker's I think is faster and easier, in my opinion. So that's what we're gonna do. Or maybe I've just done Tinker so many more times that I'm just like in tune with it in a way that I'm not with Polar Knight stage. Oop. Oh, well, that was silly. I've just died here so many times that I know all the, the strategies now or something. Although I do still manage to die on that screen quite a bit. Or this series of screens, rather. That that one screen I with the spikes, the screen with the mobile gear, and this screen. This screen is mostly just because of the stupid missiles. They have a mind of their own. You can't predict them. It's impossible. Oh. Well, that was interesting. Get up there. What are you doing, Shovel Knight? You're gonna die. Actually, no, I'm not gonna die. I'm just gonna be slow. This is so silly. Okay. At least we didn't die, right? Oh. It's tricky. Aw, oh, I should have pogoed. Actually, I keep forgetting that I have the Dust Knuckles. For a lot of guys, the Dust Knuckles is actually a much better way to get through them, like the large enemies. I wonder if that works on this guy. Because you don't have to sit there and wait for yourself to phase out of existence before you can actually move, so... Ah, the missiles thought they were gonna get me, but they didn't. Okay. I spoke too soon, apparently. I don't need no missiles to kill me, I can kill myself just fine, thank you. At least I get a chance to do this again. Almost literally every possible way to screw it up, I screwed it up last time. There we go. That's more like it. No, get up there. 
efficiency much fast. Okay, well it doesn't work too well on that guy because of the way that the platforms are situated. Looks like the missiles are giving me a good pattern. Sometimes they like to just screw with you. No, I almost did it again. But we should be in the clear now. And luckily, Tinker is a pretty easy fight no matter what difficulty you're on. Of course, now that I've said that, I'm probably going to, like, fall off the robot like 7 billion times, but... Whatever. good anchors, but I fell off. Huh. Just the damage boost from the, that thing was almost enough to get me up there. Whoa. What are these missile patterns? Really? I actually have screwed this fight up, like, pretty significantly. That wasn't abysmal, but mostly just because I spammed anchors at him. Aside from that, it actually was pretty bad. So, that is Propeller, Tinker, and a bunch of little side bosses done. And I think I'm going to leave it there for today on Let's Play Shovel Knight New Game Plus. We will proceed with probably not the end of the game, but more of the game on the next episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight New Game Plus. Catch you later!